What do you guys think of a mini Boss 429 cylinder head shrunk to fit a 351 Windsor block? Does that pique your interest? How about this? This is a billet head, small block Ford. It's a true Hemi, unlike the Boss 429 Hemi headed Ford. It could get any better. It would need to have more display displacement because this was only 427 inches. So I think you needed to get more to the 440 range or 454 small block to utilize those cylinder heads. Here's another angle of that 427 cubic inch billet headed true Hemi small block Ford. Now we'll try our own version. Basically a semi Hemi Boss 429 type shotgun engine in small block form. Cylinder head shrunk to fit a 351 Windsor block. Does that pique your interest? How about this? There's nothing more sexier than the valve cover of this engine. <laughs> Look at that thing. Anyway, what we plan on doing is to apply this to a small block Ford and an LS engine or LS block. See what you think. I got good news. This is the heading of this video. Anyway, I am excited and there are opportunities opening up. First off, um, I will be doing a um, presentation video with uh, Drag Boss here on uh, YouTube as well and collaborate with Tim Halstead and uh, doing some Ford based, um, should we say technical videos that are revealing at best and I think a lot of you will be surprised at what I will try to uh, put out there to benefit uh, the guys with uh, blue blood running in their veins <laughs> so that is one second I also have a possible collaboration on a book years ago I did this book how to build Ford small blocks or Ford Windsor and that's by Isaac Martin and HP Books. Now there's a possibility that there will be a new Ford build-up book that's being uh, in the planning stages right now and looks like I might be involved with that as well. Uh, they've asked me to send some info so there I am. Third and the best it's in the major planning stages we're just trying to see where what we're gonna do and what are the approach we're gonna do because we're looking at this to build a pretty good Ford cylinder head and at the same time of course the bottom line is is it marketable is it even possible that we can sell it out there and uh, let me probably say I am involved with Cage Motorsports out there on the East Coast with Max Gregorich, the owner of the said um, racing shop manufacturer. They, we collaborated on a cylinder head for a you know, single piston motorcycle go-kart cylinder head. Uh, it's much, very, very successful. The changes that I suggested that he refined and made it come uh, to fruition has really shown very oh well I was gonna say shown it has already shown uh, promising results winning all over um, in fact it's very impressive and he can never make them fast enough so it's gauge model sports this is a picture of some of the cylinder heads that Mike Gregorich at gauge model sports delivering to many many race teams out there it is a result of our collaboration and this is their contact number and uh, this is what we're going to be starting with to build this Ford LS type cylinder heads.
On my left here is a Ford and an LS Chevy head. Why is this together here? Well, Gage Motorsport, Max Gregors and myself, we plan on producing, designing a mini Boss 9 head to fit, what else? A small block Ford and a small block Chevy, LS. And I will proceed to show why that is, what the possibility, possibilities are. I kind of figured with updated intake ports and exhaust ports and the latest that we can devise as far as the combustion chamber is concerned, the Boss 9 or Boss 429 have two quench pads. We're going to go beyond that, utilizing two, but we're going to do a more advanced combustion chamber design to benefit today's uh, horsepower level that we're trying to, to get. Anyway, the, the, our purpose is to build a billet head out of aluminum for serious racing and street, possibly with two port sizes. And if we can proceed to make both castings boltable to the Ford or Chevy block, the better off we're gonna be. Kind of figured the Ford market is huge the way it is. And the LS market is big as well. Might as well kill two birds with one stone, should we, should we say. And having those two in a pattern, a head bolt pattern, that is very compatible and they'll inter interchange, it'll be a plus. It will have an SC1 intake port and an SC1 exhaust uh, pattern. Wow, see that? This phone keeps ringing. Anyway, that's what we're gonna end up doing. Um, intake, so we can reuse an existing uh, 2828 manifold and then the header flange for an SC1 exhaust pattern. This way, there's not much custom or one of a kind stuff. Everything will be bolt, bolt, down, bolt down or bolt on to stock configuration, 9.5 or 9.2 deck. So now, uh, let's look at these two heads, the similarities, and that's where we're gonna base the Mini Boss 9 if that's what we're gonna end up calling it, or maybe also for the LS, we'll call it LS Boss 9, okay? I think it's a pretty catchy phrase, or catchy name. Here we go, guys. Now you're looking at the LS, the T-Drill style port, and the Ford, and this is an AFR. When you look at, both of them are 10 head bolts, it will up option out as well to the bigger aftermarket block with the extra head bolt but that's in the planning stages you see here there's the port angle on the LS there's the port angle on the Ford they swap places but otherwise the architecture is the same there's a Ford 1011-2 head gasket the dowels right there that's the way it's designed and works real great when you superimpose this on the LS, both of them have the same dowel location. With the LS, slightly smaller dowel, dowel, uh, well, dowel pin, or whatever. it's not really a pin, but a dowel ring. And guess what? Here we go. The board spacing is the same. With the Boss 9, we're just gonna address the same water ports right here. And we're going to address the water ports on that casting to make sure it applies and bolts up readily. But you can see the obvious uh, similarities. Bore spacing, head bolts in the same general location. Okay, so um, minor changes here and there and we can make it work. The head bolt here is a little bit off but that's easily, easily changed. All right, so we're just make it slightly bigger and we can use uh, head bolts with a shoulder in to take up that space, but I don't think it's really absolutely necessary, but it is very, very close. Therefore, if we, we do the Boss 9, the LS Boss 9 or Mini Boss 9 uh, to have basically um, SC1 intake manifold 
then we're more than halfway home because it's ready, av readily available and we can just put it on without much issues. So the port angle here is a little bit different so we're going to do that on the Boss 9, kick it up a bit so that you can also use the 2828 manifold. And I think that's where we're going to be with this thing. And uh, please pause your comment to see if this is a good from a, from a marketability, marketability standpoint. We know the power is going to be there. I mean, if you look at all the latest pro stock offerings from GM, Chrysler, Ford, they're all Boss 429 configuration. They're not a true Hemi like a Chrysler, but they're tilted off to the side. In essence, a twist chamber or not a twisted wedge. It's a twist, twisted semi-hemi. So the potential is there. You cannot equal a semi-hemi if you have an inline. I don't care what kind of inline uh, heads you have out there. It will not compare. The theoretical potential and actual potential is just so much more uh, obvious with a 429 configured for a small block. But anyway, Please post your comments, anything that you might uh, think uh, be worth for uh, Max Gurich and I to consider. And uh, we would really appreciate your input before we proceed with this project. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. This is Ben Almeida again. And for Max Gregorich from Gage Motorsports, we appreciate your comments. Thank you very much.